Hello. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. I am. I am reading one of my favorite books today. There is always a little bit of mischief in all of us, and today's book is just that. Where the wild things are. Are you ready for Max's adventure? I am. Let's start. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. There he is. Max and his dog. His mother called him wild thing, and Max said, "I'll eat you up." So he was sent to bed without eating anything. And there he is in his bedroom, quite upset. That he's been sent to bed with no dinner. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. Can you see what I can see? Yes, the trees are starting to grow. In his room, and grew. So, more forest and less of Max's room. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines. And the walls became the world all around. Now, I don't see Max's room anymore. All I see is a big forest and little Max in it. And an ocean tumbled by, with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And there he is, little Max, in his private boat, sailing in the open sea. Would you be terrified if this happened to you, or would you be excited to see? What adventure lies ahead? And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. Now, Max, while he was sailing in his boat. Encounters a wild thing, and he does look a little bit scared, but he continues on his adventure. Oh oh, I can see more wild things. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their 
terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. And there are the wild things showing their big roars and scary eyes and their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Can you believe that these terrible wild things were more terrified than Max? And made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And here we are, little Max with all the wild ones in the rumpus. And here he is again. He's hanging on some of the tree branches with all his wild friends. I think they are all having a jolly good time. What do you think? And here they are again, having lots of fun. And little Max definitely looks like the king of the jungle amongst his wild friends. Now stop. Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. So here are his friends off to bed and there is little lonely Max. What do you think he's missing? But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye.
and there he is off and there are his wild friends very sad to see him go and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and there he is back at sail and where do you think he's going back to his room i think he missed his mum and i think he missed his room and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and there it is he's come back to his room and on the table is his supper and it was still hot and that is the end of my favorite book i hope you enjoyed reading it with me and what do you think max thought about this wild adventure as much as he had lots of fun and he met lots of wild friends and he was the king of the wild jungle he missed his home and he missed his mum and he missed his delicious supper and that is what we all want in the end we want a comfortable home and a loving family